As the seasons change, so do nature's colors. These changes are especially rich and varied in Japan. Cherry blossoms in spring, hydrangeas in summer, chrysanthemums in autumn, and peonies in winter. Each season is marked by a distinctive flower. Wisteria is another flower closely associated with Japan. Its magnificent cascades of purple blooms brighten the start of each May. Wisteria were mentioned a thousand years ago in the tale of Genji, the world's first romantic novel. The wisteria vine grows long, spreading tendrils. Streaming down from an overhead trellis, the hanging blooms create a fantastic, magical atmosphere. This wisteria is the most famous in all Japan. This enormous spread of vines with their masses of brilliant blossoms all come from a single trunk. The giant tree is 150 years old. It's amazing that all these flowers are attached to just one trunk. No wonder so many people love this tree. The tree is very old, but it was actually transplanted to this site about 20 years ago. At its previous, more constricted location, the tree was beginning to die. A new home was offered, but no one would agree to move it, declaring it already too big and old to transplant. Finally, after four years, tree surgeon Konami Tsukamoto accepted the challenge. Tsukamoto, an expert in preserving and treating plants, had already successfully transplanted over 100 trees. First, I did a lot of reading about the wisteria. No one believed it was possible to transplant a wisteria with a trunk diameter larger than 60 centimeters. And they wanted me to move a trunk that was a whole meter across. I knew this was going to be a major operation. The problem was finding a way to safely lift this giant with its one meter girth. There was no precedent for transplanting a tree with such a massive trunk. It was a real puzzle. And however I tried, I couldn't seem to find a solution. Then it came to me. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about it as purely a tree problem. What if I asked myself what we would need to do if it were a person instead of a tree? Then the answer quickly became obvious. Skamoto thought of the plaster casts doctors apply to safeguard broken limbs while they heal. She coated a layer of plaster on the trunk where the ropes would attach to protect the tree as they lifted it. The enormous tree could now be safely transplanted to its new site, where it flourished and grew even more massive. Tsukamoto has recently embarked on a new project, using the healing power of plants to help troubled people. Socially challenged youths and children are especially welcome to her classes, where they learn to grow and care for flowers and trees. Trees and plants have incredible strength and staying power. They never give up. They can teach us how to be strong and live our lives to the utmost. For me, that's the biggest appeal of trees and flowers, that amazing strength they all possess. Flowers and trees have the power to heal hearts. They deserve our care and respect.